championship belts make lovely centerpieces. And if you need someone to carve the turkey, he's got an excellent cut man. On December 8th, he'll face Juan Manuel Marquez for the fourth time live on HBO pay-per-view. Please say hello to the pride of the Philippines, Manny Pacquiao. <laughs> To you. Will you celebrate American Thanksgiving? Is that a holiday that you celebrate? Um, tomorrow, I, I have to train. You have to train? Yeah. Oh, so there's no mashed potatoes for you. <laughs> Are you on a strict diet when you train? No, I have, um, I need to eat a lot so I can maintain my, my, Same here. my weight. Yes. I like it. <laughs> Now, you, the last time you were here, you, uh, had a, you announced that you had quit drinking, you quit uh, gambling, and you quit cockfighting. And, <laughs> and then, for the first time in seven years, you did not win the fight. You lost the fight. Well, I don't think you actually lost the fight, but <clears throat> technically, they said you lost the fight. Will you go back to drinking, <laughs> gambling, <laughs> and cockfighting? No, no. 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 What about that fight? That was, you know, there are a lot of bad decisions in, yeah. in boxing. And uh, I mean, I feel like uh, that you, it seemed like you clearly won that fight against Bradley, but uh, two of the judges said you didn't win. Uh, Paula Abdul would have done a better job <laughs> judging that fight. And how, I mean, th is that disheartening? Something like that when, you know, you train, you fight, you win the fight, and then they say you didn't win the fight. Does that make you want to just say, ah, to hell with this? I don't want to do it anymore? I understand. I mean, um, we're not perfect, and I respect. I still respect the the, the commission, the judges, the referees, and I hope that uh, it's um, it, it, it's going to be learned for for boxing, and so that people will they, they will interest uh, to watch boxing. Why didn't you turn around and fight Bradley again just to prove that you beat him? I don't think uh, I need to prove something to Bradley because uh, it's really one-sided fight on the, uh, on, on the last fight that we had. And I have nothing to prove to, to Bradley. I see. OK, all right. So you feel like you won the fight regardless of what the decision was. Yes. And the league and the WBO, I think, looked into it, and they agreed that a bad decision was made. But they can't go back and change it. No, they, they can't. They can't. Yeah. No can't you beat somebody up and make them change it? <laughs> <laughs> I have another theory, and I think the reason that you ran into some bad luck there is every time you've been on our show before a big fight, you sang on the show. Except for the last time, you didn't sing, and you wound up losing the fight. Oh. You, I think you need to sing. Maybe a Christmas song or something. I mean... <laughs> Drummer boy, <laughs> maybe a little bit of jingle bells, something, anything. I, 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 Do you have a favorite Christmas song? <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I, well, I forget the, the it's Christmas. It's going to be too late again. We're going to have a problem. Here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, hopefully that won't have anything to yeah. do with it. I think I'm just being superstitious. Yeah. Now, this is the fourth time you, you, you're fighting Juan Manuel Marquez. Mm -hmm. um, when you fight a guy four times, you probably, you kind of get to know him, don't you? Because you do so much promotion together. Yes. Of course, you have your time in the ring. Uh -huh. Are you guys kind of friendly? Like, I mean, on a social level? We're a um, friend outside the, the ring, but you are. Uh, in the ring, you know, we have uh, to do our business. And do you feel like when you're friendly with a guy outside of the ring, you, you're a little bit less aggressive? No, it, it, it's, uh, it's depends on you, uh, when, how you, you, you do the fight. And, right, yeah. And like now, it's, uh, we have a fourth fight with him because he, don't accept, he never accepted that he lost the fight, so... Mm -hmm. Right, he says, have, he, he says he won all those fights. Yeah, I have to prove it. You won two of those fights, and one was a draw, so you want to knock him out this time, I would assume. That way there's no question. My, my focus today...
my focus in this training is uh, to more aggressiveness and uh, if I, I, I if I have a chance to to finish the fight, why not? And gotcha. you know, just focus aggressiveness, more action. Your mom requested that you knock him out. <laughs> Did you know that? <laughs> My mom. But he was not the... Originally, you were not supposed to fight Marquez. You were supposed to fight another uh, prominent fighter. I believe we have a uh, video from uh, the great HBO documentary series 24-7. Let's take a look. Five years ago, two men set out to seek power. The kind of power that begets wealth, influence, and in its strongest forms, immortality. Four times, Manny Pacquiao has been scheduled to fight Guillermo Rodriguez, but because of unforeseen occurrences, their first bout has still yet to take place. Well, the first time I couldn't fight because I ate too much. The second time, I had to take my dogs, Pepe and Paco, to the bed. And the third time, I got drunk and I always slept. In each of the three cases, Juan Manuel Marquez has been called upon to replace Guillermo. In algún momento pensamos de que el referee pudo haber detenido la la pelea, la pudo haber parado. This time, however, nothing will keep Guillermo out of the ring. This time, nothing will keep me out of the ring, except if there is a ghost or a scary dog. His corner man Yaya is equally confident in the fighter's readiness. I like Guillermo. He's a nice guy, and I'm training him. You lose away, and I do massage for him. Hi, Bobby. But Pacquiao's trainer, Freddie Roach, still has doubts. This is a tough one to prepare for, because as far as I know, Guillermo has never been in a fight. Promoter Bob Arum sees potential in this legendarily unresolved rivalry. This is the fight the world wants to see. Two mustachioed warriors going at each other toe-to-toe, -to -toe, and only one will emerge victorious. But a frustrated Pacquiao has concerns after being jilted at the altar one too many times. I was supposed to fight him three times, but he keeps avoiding me. He said he didn't get invitation for the last fight. Come on, this is not a birthday party to get invitation. He's boxing. Can someone please explain it to me? Meanwhile, Freddie Roach struggles to develop a strategy. Yeah, we do have some tape on Guillermo hitting a pinata, but that's all we can find. While Yaya develops new techniques to give his fighter an edge. Yeah, I put Vaseline and Guillermo, he make him win. The training gets more intense as the weigh-in approaches. The fighters work round the clock, striving to maintain peak condition. Finally, the moment of truth has arrived. And now it's time for the main event weigh-in for the welterweight title of the world and the champion Manny Pacquiao up first on the scale. He stops it at exactly 147 pounds, making the welterweight limit. And now it's time for the challenger, who's going to be challenged to make 147 pounds. Guillermo up on the scale. He tips it. We're going to adjust a little bit, Guillermo. And at 247 pounds, even he's 100 pounds over the limit. Yeah, I don't have to fight Manny Pacquiao. Maybe we play in March again. And for Pacquiao, it's more heartbreak. He did it to me again. <laughs> no! Flow 